Hello, this is Rhonda. I'm going to be filming a lip sense um, review today. Uh, so I've got all my makeup on except for my lips. So I'm going to be putting on my lip sense lipstick here in just a little bit. Um, I know there's some people that are kind of wondering about lip sense. And there are a lot of people on the internet, especially like Facebook, Instagram, etc., etc., that um, sell it. And sometimes they can be kind of on the pushy side. You know what I mean? Will you host a party? Will you do this? I'm always like, no. I don't know. Thankfully, I have found an awesome seller uh, in my community who, yes, she posts stuff online, but she's not real pushy about it. And I really appreciate that. Um, the initial investment is a little pricey, but you do get quite a bit of product. And let me tell you, at least in my experience so far, this stuff really does last pretty much all day. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two coats of this, make sure I've got it holding up right, it's strawberry shortcake followed by a coat of, well you can't even see that, uh, gold champagne and then I'm going to put on a coat of just the regular glossy. You are supposed to put three coats on, put one coat on, let it dry, it only takes a few seconds, put another coat on, let it dry, put another coat on. Let it dry and then put your glossy on. You have a regular glossy, you have a matte glossy. I bought two glossies that are colored. This one on top is, I can't even read it. Eh, anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I've got quite a few other colors. It just happens to be the um, combination of the strawberry shortcake and the gold champagne tend to be my favorite. Um, I don't know why, it just is. Uh, so I tend to reach for them quite a little bit. You have to shake it up a little bit first. Make sure my lips are dry. And then just put it on. And then you let it dry. Just takes a couple seconds. Put another coat on. Let that one dry. It does tingle just a little bit. I've been told that is from the bonding that it does to your lips. And then here's the gold champagne. You let that dry. Third coat does take just a few seconds longer. Don't mind the dark circles under the eyes. I didn't sleep the best. Welcome to perimenopause. Then the glossy. Uh, to get your lips to last, they recommend that you put the glossy on several times a day. I'm gonna come in close. You can see my lips. <laughs> And there you go. I will be filming a couple updates throughout the day. I'm getting ready to go to Des Moines to do a little shopping with my hubby and hopefully go out to eat. So I'll take my phone. I'll take a couple shots. I'll um, maybe film an update with my phone and splice it all together in the end. Got an itchy nose. Thank you, allergies. And I'll let you know what I think of the lip sense and you can kind of see how it wears all day long. So I'll see you after a while. Bye-bye. Well, here's just a quick update on my phone. Um, my makeup's actually holding up pretty well. I'm pretty pleased, but my lip scent, um, I've had on now for almost four hours, and we just got done eating. Um, went to On the Border, it's a Mexican restaurant. Um, just a little bit right down here, but that's because I was going, mm, and really licking my lips a lot because, wow, that sauce was spicy. So, yeah, this is what my lipstick looks like after almost four hours. I've drank a bottle of water on our drive up here. Just got done eating Mexican. So I'm pretty pleased. 
um, we're gonna hit Costco, Walmart, and then go home, and I'll film my finished up video. My That's my husband out there. He's filling up our Jeep, and I'll let you know, man, I love this Manny eyeshadow palette from Makeup Geek. Ooh, baby, it is sweet. And, um, when my, my eyes are drippy because of the sauce from the Mexican restaurant. And when we get there, I'll show you what I bought at Sephora because I can't go to the mall without either stopping at Ulta, Sephora, or sometimes both. And today was a Sephora run, so I'll show you what I got. And the lip scents, it's holding up great. Okay, see you after a bit. Hello, I'm back. Back from Des Moines. Uh, did a lot of shopping. Well, not a lot of shopping, but did some shopping. I've had my lip scents on now for about six and a half hours and let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit here's what my lips look like it barely wore off um, my camera is just a little bit at a ooh, angle um, my floor isn't exactly even in here it's not anywhere in the whole house but here's what my lips look like uh, barely wore off and I've had it on for seven hours. I have not retouched it. I have just put the glossy on like they tell you to do. And there we go. Get zoomed back out. I have a cat trying to help me here. Right, Dusty? And um, I've drank a bottle of water. I've We've gone out to eat. I've eaten Mexican food. So I had lots of chips and salsa, and then I had some enchiladas, and it was very hot and spicy, and um, licked my lips a lot. It's kind of dry outside, so I've, you know, licked my lips and, and uh, stuff, but I've put my glossy on, like you're supposed to, and I think it held up pretty well. Now, um, let me get my phone, and I'll read a few things, but it says about Lip Sense. Lip Sense is the premier product of Sense Gene and is unlike any conventional lipstick, stain, or color. As the original long-lasting lip color, it is waterproof and does not kiss off, smear off, rub off, or budge off. Create your own color palette by combining shades. Your customized look will last even longer and your lips will stay moist and plump with Lip Sense Moisturizing Gloss. And if you are in doubt of any kind of uh, strange color combinations, there are approximately 70 different colors out there. So you could, and where you can color combine, I have literally put three different shades on um, just to create your own color. You can make a whole bunch of different weird color combinations and it's really kind of fun. Uh, so if you can find a dealer out there that's not like too annoying, because I've seen a few that are, you know, just a little bit pushy, a little bit irritating, and I know I know this is how they're making money, but, you know, some people, it's like, just, yo, back off. If I want some, I'll buy some. You pressuring me into it is not going to make me buy. Uh, I have a great dealer. Shout out to Chelsea. Oh, now I have a cat fight. So, uh... I should have shut the door. I'm in our spare bedroom trying to film. And my dog Frodo, who's smaller than most of the cats, thinks he's all big and bad. Ugh. Anyway, if you can find a dealer and you'd like to try it, I will tell you it is a little pricey. I do believe the initial kit... Shush! Hold on. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back, so, yeah, I had to break up a cat fight and shoo the dogs out because they were going to break up the cat fight, and you were going to hear a lot of noise. Anyway, I'll tell you, the initial kit is kind of pricey. I believe it's about $50. Um, you get a glossy. I think you might get two colors. It's been a while since I bought it. I bought my first kit way back late winter. Um, let's see, two, two colors, a glossy. A lip, or a lip stain remover because I have tried my Lush lip scrubs on this stuff and it still leaves some of the color on. I mean, I'm like scrubbing my lips with my bubblegum flush lip scrub and I've still got some color on. So I think that's pretty cool, actually. Um, so you get a lip remover, you just like, put it on and wipe it off. And uh, you're kind of set for your first go around. 
After that, I do believe um, each lip sense is $25 and a glossy is $20. Um, occasionally, if you your dealer can have sales or little promotions where, you know, maybe it's $20 and $15 or, you know, buy two, get one half off. I, it's all up to the individual dealer. Um, cat is sneezing now. <laughs> you want some animals? I got some cats. You can just have them. No, I love my kitties. Right, Bilbo. Even though he's a douche. So, if you are at all interested in your lip stain, um, lip scent, sorry, give it a try. Find a dealer that's not too pushy, um, that will work with you, that will just, you know, sell you some stuff and then maybe kind of leave you alone, not harass you to host a bunch of parties or whatever. As for the rest of my makeup, I'm going to zoom just a little and lean in. It's held up pretty well. Uh... Oh, I love this Manny eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Oh my gosh, Manny, you really did it. Um, I am wearing the Tarte Rainbow of the Sea. Is that what it's called? Uh, foundation. Um, I was wondering why it was kind of falling off my nose a little bit today. Um, I've worn this stuff to work and had it on 13, 14 hours and it didn't fall off my nose as well. And then I realized I forgot to put primer on today. <laughs> So no wonder it's kind of falling off my nose just a little bit. But it overall looks pretty good, I think. Um, I mean, it's only been, what, like, I put it on about nine and it's four. So, you know, it's been on for a while. And, of course, a trip to Des Moines isn't the same without stopping at Sephora or Ulta or both. I only went to Sephora today. I was good. I was going to get something for my brows. And, of course, Benefit has some really cool stuff out for brows. And uh, I was just going to get um, the uh, shape, well, not the shaping, the highbrow pencil. And I think it was like $24. And then I found this, which was $34. This Benefit Bigger Bolder Brows. And it has, let me read here, okay? It has a shaping stencil, the Cabrow the Ready Set Brow, and the High Brow Pencil for $34. So it's like, okay, for $10 more, I get three more things. Hello? How could I say no? And of course, as I'm wandering around in Sephora, you know, they've always got all the little helpers, and I'm, I'm nice to them, but it's like, yo, I, I just want to look, leave me alone. And then I saw this man there. And he's obviously kind of a little bit of a trainee because uh, one of the ladies is explaining some Anastasia stuff. And he's, you know, hey, how are you doing? Are, do you need some help? I see he has a Sephora name tag on. Now let me tell you, I kind of have a little thing for guys with makeup. If you are brave enough to go out there, put yourself out there, wear a full face of makeup, and let me tell you, his makeup looked better than mine did. Just saying. They always do. I mean... Manny, Patrick Starr, they have the best freaking makeup. I hate them, and I love them. I wish they would come and do my makeup. Anyway, so he's, he's you know, he's obviously new. He's out there in a, what's typically a woman's world. So I had him show me some highlighters. And he, now I have Becca highlighters. I have the Jaclyn Hill highlighters, uh, and I really like them. But this... This is a cream highlighter. Let's see what's which num, name is it. Uh, it's called Moonstone. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if I can swatch it. Isn't that pretty? You really can't see it. Let's see if I can just swatch it here on my own. Uh, you really can't see it, but it's very, very pretty. I mean, I really like it, and I can't wait to try it out. Because uh, I told him, and he was kind of the same way, that if he would have told me that a year ago, I would be putting stuff on my face that would make my face all shiny and my cheeks and down a little bit on my nose and maybe across my, my forehead... I'd have said, are you freaking crazy? And yet here I am. I have a little storage container 
with uh, like two full drawers of highlighters. And I've probably spent more on highlighters than anything else, except for maybe foundation. Because my goal is to try to find my holy grail of foundation. And I'm kind of having a hard time of it. Because <laughs> it either settles in my lines, or it wears off on my nose, or it wears off on my cheeks, or it wears off on my chin. So I am on the quest for the Holy Grail. I feel like King Arthur himself has sent me on this quest. So here I am trying to find the Holy Grail foundation and all I do is buy highlighters and makeup palettes. Which I think I'm going to buy those little Morphe little, little palettes. Have you seen those yet? So when I get those, I will do some swatches for you, and I will let you know what I think of them. And uh, they're Morphe. I love loved everything Morphe has put out that I have bought. If only I could win the lottery and I could buy it all. So I'll let you know how I think. So I've got some editing to do because I have about three or four little swatches of film I need to put all together. So I'm going to go work on that. So peace, love, and take care of yourself. That's the nurse's orders. Bye-bye.